How's everyone doing this morning? Good? Enjoying the Jumbotron, I see too, the video monitor, that's great. Well, we're delighted that all of you are here with us today for this wonderful celebration of Springfield College's 127th undergraduate commencement ceremonies. The exercises will begin in a few minutes. We encourage you to take as many photos as you like from your seats, and we assure you that all graduates will be photo photographed by a professional photographer. Please take a minute now, a few housekeeping items to make sure that your cell phones are turned off, of course, and the processional is about to begin. So please remain seated during the entire procession so that everyone can see. This is a special moment for all of you. We've all been waiting for this moment for many, many years. So please have respect for our fellow graduates. And we hope you enjoy this wonderful morning again of Springfield College's 127th undergraduate commencement exercises. Good morning.
please join with me in a spirit of prayer and reflection. Gracious source of all that is true and good and beautiful, we raise our voices in celebration of the lives arrayed before us today. As we extol the accomplishments of the class of 2013, keep us mindful that this is not an end, but a beginning. That relationships established over years with teachers and mentors, with friends and family, are not ending, but transforming. For what has been, we offer thanks. For what shall be, we seek your blessing. Sustain these students in their service to the wider world so that every life that they touch, every community into which they enter, is made better by their presence. May they, in their various vocations, live out the college's mission and, in doing, enrich its legacy. Amen. Please be seated. I would now I would now like to introduce Douglas Coop, chair of the Springfield College Board of Trustees. Good morning. Class of 2013, families, friends, trustees, faculty, staff, and administrators. On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it, it is an honor to officially convene the 127th commencement of Springfield College. At this time, I feel privileged to introduce the distinguished dignitaries joining us today. Please hold your applause until they are all introduced. I ask each of you to stand as your name is called and remain standing until all have been introduced. Beginning with the second row to my right, Dr. David Braverman, Vice President for Student Affairs and Dean of Students. Trustee Lauren grimes Humans, President of the Alumni Council. Trustee John A. Odierna, former Chair of the Board of Trustees and current Chair of the Audit and Compliance Committee. Trustee Susan London. T Trustee Jeffrey Levy. Trustee Peter Andrushevitz, Chair of the Institutional Advancement Committee. Trustee James Walsh, former Chair of the Board of Trustees and current Secretary of the Board of Trustees and Mr. David McMahon, Director of Spiritual Life. In the first row, beginning to my right, Professor Charles Redman, Dean of the School of Health, Physical Education and Recreation. Dr. Robert Willey, Dean of the School of Human Services. Dr. Ann Herzog, Dean of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies. Dr. David Miller, Dean of the School of Health Sciences and Rehabilitation Studies. Dr. Jean A. Wild, Vice President for Academic Affairs. Dr. Richard B. Flynn, President of Springfield College. Senator Elizabeth Warren, United States Senator, Commonwealth of Massachusetts. <laughs> Honorary degree recipient and commencement speaker. Raymond A. Jordan, Principal of Jordan Consulting and Communications, LLC. Honorary Degree Recipient, and Dr. Mimi Murray, Professor and Grand Marshal. I'd also like to uh, recognize Robert Kearney, Student Trustee, who is seated with his class. And Rob, on behalf of the Board, thank you for all of your good work on behalf of Springfield College and all that you did on the behalf of the Board. We have to slip the National Anthem in, so if you'll just stand there before you introduce Dick. Okay. Please stand and join with us and Robert Kearney in singing our national anthem.
Please be seated. It is now my distinct pleasure to introduce to all of you Springfield College's 12th president, Dr. Richard B. Flynn, a wonderful person, a dynamic guy, and a very, very good friend. Dr. Flynn. Thank you, Chair Coop, and good morning, everyone. To each of today's graduates, I offer a heartfelt congratulations, as well as a sincere thank you for being part of the life of the college during your undergraduate years. Each one of you has been well prepared in spirit, mind, and body to provide leadership and service to humanity. I'm confident that you will apply that same energy, enthusiasm, and commitment to your career your family and your community as you did in your years at Springfield College. At yesterday's baccalaureate ceremony, I had the distinct pleasure of being invited to address members of the class of 2013. The class did a great job in planning that ceremony and many in that class had an opportunity to display their talents. And talented this class is. I mentioned at the time that I shall always consider myself a member of the class of 2013 since this represents my 15th and final Springfield College commencement ceremony. It's just that it's taken me a bit longer. You might say this is my graduation ceremony as well. I can't imagine myself in better company, that I have so much admiration, respect, and love for members of this class, as well as for the college, of course, that we all love so much. Mrs. Slynn and I will be leaving here, like members of this class, and with friendships and wonderful memories that will last us the rest of our lives. And we'll follow with, with pride and support this college. We'll also follow our 2013 classmates' futures with the same interest and the pride that we have followed in their undergraduate journeys. In just a very few minutes, as I shake hands with members of the class of 2013, and when I extend that hand, I want you to know that I'll be doing so as a symbol of my heartfelt respect and love for you as the newest in the long line of Springfield College graduates. Your diploma from Springfield College represents a significant accomplishment, accepted with the, with the pride of a job well done, but also with just a touch of humility. Don't forget those who supported you and helped you along the way. Unless you are very unusual, there is someone who helped you in realizing your dreams. Let that be your legacy to help others in pursuing and realizing their dreams. I'd like now to, you, to offer you the opportunity to express your appreciation to those, indeed, who have sacrificed in so many ways to bring you to this point. So at this time, I ask all the mothers, fathers, grandparents, spouses, children, significant others, and other family members who have someone graduating today to please stand so the graduates can acknowledge and thank you for the role you played in their success to date.
It is, it is now my pleasure to introduce at this time Christina Dupuy, class of 2013. Christina is a health science major from West Springfield, Massachusetts. She will provide a greeting this morning on behalf of the graduating class. Christine. Thank you for the step stool. <laughs> President Flynn, trustees, faculty and staff, family and friends, on behalf of the class of 2013, it is my great honor to welcome you to undergraduate commencement. I am sure many of you are like me, asking where did these past few years go? It seems like it was just last week when I was a freshman on Abbey Green thinking to myself, gosh, these four years are going to be amazing. I hope they don't fly by. And whether, like me, you studied on our beautiful Springfield campus or any of our campuses across the country, we all know that this wish did not come true. Time did fly, but these years at Springfield College have been the best of my life. It is truly an honor to stand before you all today. I am proud to say that I am the first member of my family to complete, attend, and receive a bachelor's degree from a four-year college. <laughs> and even more proud to say that I received my education from Springfield College. This establishment has not only given me an incredible education, but also a family and a home away from home. The relationships that I have created throughout my collegiate career are ones that I will cherish for the rest of my life. Those relationships and these memories I will hold in my heart as I continue on my journey. I have many mixed feelings about this day. I am excited because this is the pinnacle of my undergraduate career. But I am also anxious and nervous about what the future holds and what life will be like beyond Springfield College. However, I think I can speak for most of my fellow graduates in saying that most of all, I am proud of how far we have all come and everything that we've accomplished during our time here. Springfield College has become the foundation to my future. Each leadership opportunity, every class that I took, the professors that I've worked with, and all the friends that I've made along the way have influenced my outlook on the future in one way or another. I have also learned some valuable lessons that I would like to share with you all today. If opportunity doesn't knock, build a door. When in doubt, just listen. And who is to say what is the best, because nothing is better than being your best. I hope these lessons resonate with you too. As our journey continues past graduation, wherever life leads us, let us always remember where we came from. This institution must have made its mark on your heart and shaped us in spirit, mind, and body, or you would not be sitting here today. Now, I've been told that it is customary to close with an inspiring message, and my family and friends would be pretty disappointed if it didn't come from such an inspi inspiring person as Walt Disney. As Disney once said, somehow, I can't believe there are any heights that can't be scaled by a man who knows the secret of making dreams come true. This special secret, it seems to me, can be summarized in four C's. They are curiosity, confidence, courage, and consistency. And the greatest of these is confidence. When you believe a thing, believe it all the way, implicitly and unquestionably. I hope you take this message with you and carry with you always over these next few steps towards your successful future. Congratulations, class of 2013. Thank you for a wonderful time. Thank you, Christina. Well done. At this point in the commencement exercises, it's our honor to give special recognition to individuals who have achieved 
distinction in the field related to the mission of Springfield College. There are people who, in a very special sense, exemplify and embody the personal qualities of high idealism and dedication to human service that Springfield College has sought to cultivate in its students. Today, we have with us two such individuals who have been recommended for an honorary degree by a committee of the Board of Trustees. Chair Coop and Dr. Weil, will you please join me as we proceed with the conferring of these honorary degrees? Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I have the great privilege to present to you Senator Elizabeth Warren for the honorary degree of Doctor of Humanics at Springfield College. <laughs> Senator Warren, as a leader of the people, you continue to work diligently to do right and provide individuals with a hopeful future. You have advocated for the rights of the middle class and in these efforts have given the state a strong voice. You created the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau to protect people from deceptive financial tricks and traps. As a professor, you taught law and inspired students at Harvard University to make a difference. Your talents were recognized as you were twice honored with the Albert M. Sachs Paul A. Freund Award for Teaching Excellence. Your service as the chair of the Congressional Oversight Panel for the Troubled Asset Relief Program was praised, and you have been honored by numerous organizations for your hard work as Senator of Massachusetts. Your work to enhance the lives of people in Massachusetts and your dedication has been felt already across the Commonwealth and indeed across the nation. Elizabeth Warren, because you, by your character and accomplishments, exemplify humanics, which emphasizes dedication of the whole person, spirit, mind, and body for leadership in service to humanity, the trustees of Springfield College join in recognizing your achievements by conferring upon you the degree of Doctor of Humanics honoris causa. Senator Elizabeth Warren, by virtue of the authority given me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and by the trustees of Springfield College, I now confer upon you the honorary degree of Doctor of Humanics and all the rights, privileges, and re responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of the Board of Trustees, I have the great privilege to present to you Raymond A. Jordan for the honorary degree of Doctor of Humanics at Springfield College. <laughs> Raymond A. Jordan, your life's work is founded in your devotion to serving the community. Your leadership is evident from your role within state and national departments and committees. These two characteristics have made you the community leader you are today. You are the principal of your company, Jordan Consulting and Communications, LLC. This follows an illustrious career in government, including service as the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, New England State's Liaison for Faith-Based and Community Initiatives, and representing the 12th Hamden District Court in Massachusetts General Court. Community has always been an important factor in all of your efforts. You served as the Senior Community Builder, State Coordinator for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development, and founded the Academics, Athletics, and Arts Achievement Association, known to many as the 5A program, which provides positive alternatives to today's youth. A lifelong resident, the city of Springfield is more than a job to you, it is a home. Because you, by your character and accomplishments, exemplify humanics, which emphasizes dedication to the whole person, spirit, mind, and body for leadership in service to humanity, the trustees of Springfield College join in recognizing your achievements by conferring upon you the degree of Doctor of Humanics Honoris causa. Raymond A. Jordan, by virtue of the authority given me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and by the trustees of Springfield College, I now confer upon you the honorary degree of Dr. Eumetics 
and all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities per pertaining thereto. Please acknowledge our honorary degree recipients with another round of applause. It's now my great pleasure to introduce today's commencement speaker. We were proud just to confer upon her an honorary degree, a Dr. Humanics degree. You've already heard of a number of Dr. Warren's accomplishments. Additionally, she was named one of the top 100 most influential people in the world by Time Magazine. She was honored by the Massachusetts Women's Bar Association with the Lilia J. Robinson Award, which is presented to women who have been pioneers in the legal field and have had a positive impact on their community. She has written more than 100 articles and nine books, two of which have been national bestsellers. I'm proud to present the Honorable Elizabeth Warren, United States Senator from Massachusetts. Thank you. Thank you. Good morning. President Flynn, Board of Trustees, faculty, my friend Ray Jordan, moms, dads, families, friends, please join me in a round of congratulations to our graduates of the class of 2013. Go get them. Oh, in class of 2013, we can't say this often enough. It took a lot of help for you to get here today. So for everyone who encouraged you, who supported you, who stayed on your case over the years, all your moms and dads and aunts and uncles and grandparents and brothers and sisters and teachers and advisors, let's give them a big round of applause. Oh. I'm very excited to be here with you today. This is my first commencement address as your senator. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you. Now, class of 2013, it's time for the part about advice. You're heading into the world, and as with any new journey, it can be scary. You're not always going to get to see Ludacris in concert. And when you're out in the world playing volleyball, you may not get back-to-back -back national championships. And I just want you to know, out there in the real world, there aren't so many triangles. <laughs> wow, I must have counted 100 on the way in. All right, all right. But seriously, as you go out, I know some of you are worried about graduating in a tough economy. Some of you are concerned about finding a job. And some of you are working really hard to persuade yourself that moving in with mom and dad is almost as good as having your own apartment. <laughs> now, I know it's hard out there, but I have high hopes for you, for every single one of you. I have high hopes because at this time of transition and in this hard economy, you've already done something really tough. You stuck it out, you pushed yourself, and you graduated. Hoorah! Hoorah! Yeah. You know, it was a smart decision. A good education is a foundation for a better future. People who graduate are more resilient financially, and they weather economic downturns better than those who don't graduate. Throughout their lives, graduates are more likely to be economically secure, more likely to be healthy, and more likely to live longer. Face it, a college degree puts a lot in your corner. And in just a few minutes, you will have one. So whatever comes your way, you've got the right start. And you got that right start by planning carefully and working hard toward a specific goal. In fact, you got here today by following the advice of about a zillion teachers, aunts, uncles, cab drivers, and bartenders, and everyone else who gave you the advice, set a goal and stick with it. But on this beautiful day, this last day 
before we turn you loose into the world, I want to make a pitch for something different. Among all the goal setting and perseverance, I want to talk to you about something else. I want to talk about being open to the unexpected, about making room for the improbable and the unlikely. Now look, I know why I'm here today. It isn't my fashion sense. It isn't my ability to tell a good joke. I was invited here today because I'm your senator. What does that mean? Well, for some of you, it means I'm the person who kept sending you emails asking for money. <laughs> some of you voted for me. Some of you didn't. <laughs> That's OK. My guess is, for those of you who stayed up too late partying last night, it means I'm the person standing between you and the Gatorade. I, I think that's the right remedy now. Is that right? In any case, I'm here today because I'm your senator. But the funny thing is, I never planned to get into politics. If you don't believe me, try to find a political consultant anywhere in the country who will tell you that the best way to get elected to national office is becoming a professor or tangling with bank CEOs. Uh, you won't find one. Nope, I spent pretty much my whole career as a teacher. After I graduated from a commuter college, a commuter college that back then cost $50 a semester, yeah, <laughs> I taught elementary school, and I was sure I had my life all planned. Two years, one baby, and one move later, I ended up going to law school, thinking I could be a trial lawyer. I was sure I had my life all planned. Three years, and another baby, and another move later, I became a law professor, teaching bankruptcy and eventually writing books on economic issues about America's families. This time, I was sure I had my life all planned. And then one day, I got an unexpected phone call. This was in the mid-1990s. I'd been teaching law for about 15 years. The phone rings, and it's a former congressman who'd just been appointed to head up a commission to rewrite the bankruptcy laws. He wanted to give some help to families who were in terrible trouble. He thought I should come to Washington and help him. I thought he was crazy. I was sure about my job. My job was to teach classes, to do research, to write books, period. I didn't know anything about Washington politics, and that suited me just fine. Then he offered me a deal. If I would come up with a few good ideas, ideas that would really help families, he would figure out the politics and turn them into law. I didn't really think I could stand the politics, but he pushed, and I decided to try. Now, for me, that first trip to Washington ended up about being fighting for families that were getting squeezed out of the middle class and taking on an army of lobbyists that were working for big banks. For me, it was about the optimism that if we work hard and work together, we can make a difference that really matters. As it turned out, I had the honor of fighting alongside Senator Kennedy and many others in Congress who tried to protect families that were hanging on by their fingernails. One fight led to another, bringing some accountability in the bank bailout, setting up a Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and now representing the people of Massachusetts. The congressman made an improbable offer. He brought me into a fight that changed my life. It's been tough, but all in all, it made me believe in the amazing power of trying the unexpected. So. Class of 2013, all the planning and all the preparation in the world can't prepare you for the many twists that are coming your way. Just today, one of you may meet the guy you will marry or the guy you will divorce. <laughs> I did both. <laughs> you can't predict it all. People will tell you to plan things out as best you can. They'll tell you to focus. They'll tell you to follow your dreams. And they'll be right. But they'll also be just a little bit wrong. Never be so faithful to your plan that you are unwilling to consider the unexpected. Never be so faithful to your plan that you are unwilling to entertain the improbable opportunity that comes looking for you. And never be so faithful to your plan that when you hit a bump in the road, 
or when the bump hits you, you don't have the fortitude, the grace, and the resiliency to rethink and regroup. This openness to the improbable, the ability to get out of your comfort zone, to rework a plan, to consider something new, this is part of the American spirit that has made our country so great. You know, not far from here, almost 400 years ago, Puritans and pilgrims landed on the shores of a land they knew nothing about. They had left everything they knew, by the way, with no ability to text, email, or even write a letter to the friends they left behind. And they set off across a giant ocean to start something different. Surely, no one had spent a career planning for that trip. Almost 250 years ago, not so far from here either, a generation of people who had been born as colonists, who had lived as subjects of the world's most powerful empire, decided they were going to get rid of monarchy and create a democracy, a form of government that had barely been seen on this earth since the ancient world. Unexpected, <laughs> you bet. At the time, their success was deeply improbable, but they did it anyway. And keep in mind that it was not an elder statesman of the 19th century who freed the slaves and won the great civil war. It was a newcomer, a country lawyer who was best known for his debates during a Senate campaign that he ended up losing. It was not a diplomat who won America's first Nobel Peace Prize. It was Teddy Roosevelt who had been well known for wanting to take America into war and leading the charge up San Juan Hill himself. But he left himself open to making peace. And it was not one of the dynastic families whose favorite son ended World War II, rebuilt Europe, and set the strategy of containment for the Cold War. It was an ordinary fellow from Missouri who, after serving in World War I, came home and opened a haberdashery. I don't think anyone in this country predicted or planned where he would go. These are the stories we know from our political history, but our country is filled with stories of the unexpected. People like James Naismith, a graduate student at Springfield College who studied theology but found himself drawing on his childhood games to invent basketball. Or like Katria and Morgan O'Neill, who, after the tornadoes in Western Mass in 2011, created Recovers.org to help communities like Springfield with disaster recovery. Throughout our history, we've seen people who abandon their well-constructed plans when an opportunity opened up or a challenge hit them in the nose. As a country, this spirit has been one of the drivers of our success, the willingness to take risks, to innovate, to adapt, when our plans don't quite work out the way we thought they would. So to all of you who've always known exactly what you want to be when you grow up, go get them. But for everyone else, plans or no plans, keep just a little space in your heart for the improbable. I promise you won't regret it. Class of 2013, for your generation, I know what it feels like when you head into a very uncertain world. But the world has always been uncertain. By getting an excellent education, you've built a strong and resilient foundation. And if you work hard, persevere, and leave yourself open to the occasional unexpected opportunity, you'll do just great. Congratulations on graduating. Thank you very much, Senator Warren. Before we continue with the ceremony, I'd like to take this moment to recognize and thank the members of the Springfield College faculty and staff for the vital role they have played in educating each and every student in this year's graduating class. The wisdom and influence of their teaching and mentoring 
will follow and benefit today's graduates throughout their lives. I'd like first to acknowledge our retiring faculty, Dr. Mary Jo Hetzel and Dr. Charles Reddington. I would now ask all faculty and staff to stand so that the graduating students and all of us can recognize your valuable contributions. Before we begin the conferral of degrees this morning, I would like to recognize those students who have earned graduation honors. I'd ask those students wearing gold honor cords to stand first, please. These students will graduate summa cum laude with a cumulative grade point average of 3.9 to 4 0. -oh. Congratulations. <laughs> Next, I'd ask those students wearing maroon honor cords to stand, please. These students will graduate magna cum laude with a cumulative grade point averages of between 3 7 and 3 8 9 9. Congratulations. <laughs> Finally, I'd ask those students wearing white honor cords to stand, please. These students will graduate cum laude with cumulative grade point averages from 3.5 to 3.699. I hope you will all help me in recognizing the work of these outstanding graduates. It's now my honor and privilege to begin the conferral of the May 2013 Springfield College Baccalaureate degrees to all students who have met the degree requirements. Assisting in this process will be Dean Robert Willey, Dean Ann Herzog, Dean Charles Redman, and Dean David Miller. These individuals will read the names of each of our graduating students receiving their degrees today. And so, at this time, I would ask all of the candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science to please stand. Dr. Flynn, it is my great honor to present to you these students as candidates for the degrees of Bachelor of Arts and Bachelor of Science at Springfield College. By virtue of the authority given me by the Commonwealth of Massachusetts and by the trustees at Springfield College, I now confer upon you the degree of Bachelor of Arts or Bachelor of Science and admit you to all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto and congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. As many of you, and you may be seated, as many of you may know, the undergraduate programs of Springfield College are organized into four schools, and it is our policy to award the degrees by school and to rotate the order of those schools each year. So this year, we will award degrees first to the School of Human Services, second to the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies, then to the School of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation, and then to the School of Health Sciences and Rehabilitation Studies. And so to begin our recognition of our graduates, I would ask the marshals from the School of Human Services to bring forward the first two rows of graduates to the stage.
Marinus Youssef. Rodney P. Alexander, Jr. Taj Amir Abdur Rahman. Kaya Abdus Salam. Anto Ebrefu. Milagros F. Acosta. Valerie D. Andrews. Santos Elala Jr. Jeanette Berrios. Deborah A. Bertera. Jamie Bonds. Carlos M. Bonilla. Paul Brock Jr. Sheena Ann Broder. Brenda L. Brown. Denise Nicole Brown. Selena Shante Brown. Tanisha Renee Brown. Kimyata M. Campbell. Cordell C. Catwell. Rhonda C. Cherry. Jessica Ava Clinton. Terrence Collins. Lakeisha Marie Coppedge. Adria Lynn Coto. Marie Crawford. Sheena Marie Crosby. Daniel John Crotto, Crotty. Linashka, Linashka Cruz. Leticia Cruz Rivera. Dewan Vanell Davis. Kevin A. Davis. Joanne P. A. A. Deborah. Patsy J. De Jesus. Lucia C. Dennis. Eddie Diaz. Wilson Dones. Jamila A. Douglas. Sheridan N. Douglas. Bridget E. Echeverria. Robert Stephen Fajania. Melissa May Farrell. Mary Grace Federico. Laura Lee Feely. Dashaba Rudinia Fielder. Linda Foster. Keisha A. Francis. Paul Garcia Moreau. Raymond Tamir Gay. Crystal Ann Gibbs. Baritza Gonzalez. Rebecca Gonzalez. Kadeen A. Gordon. Destiny Deneen Grant. Jesse Grant. India Nicole Graves. Romel O. Greer. Brian Keith Griffith. Kimberly Ann Griswold. Joan M. Gillette. Taurus R. Gunter. Marvella Hackett Reeves. Franchetta, Franchette Heimer. Latasha M. Hall. 
Michelle L. McComb Hall, Ann Hemmings, Sheila D. Henry, Crystal Elaine Hill, Latoya R. Huff, Enzima Cheryl Hutchings, Natalie Huetters, Patricia Louise Johnson, Sabina Erica Johnson, Martine Kennedy, Gloria Kincaid, Clark Michael Lagerman, Cordella M. Lambert, Laquandra N. Laney, Laney. Diana LeBron, Matthew C. Lee, Gail P. Lewis, Michael Darian Little, Nakia M. Little, Marilyn R. Lorenzo, Valentine N. Lunani, Brenda Machado, Sherelle Whitney Manick, Martina May Mana, Leordani Motani, Mary M. Martin, Dianet Martinez, Emma O. Martinez, Jorge N. Martinez, Vivian Maslowski, Nicole Alicia Mayweather, Stephanie A. McBride, Jeanette M. McCall, George McDonald, Daryl M. McGraw, Sherelle Catherine McKee, Lorraine Mitchell, Kikaletso M. Mahasi, Helen J. Mons, Joyce Moody Paul, Evelyn Morales, Marisol Morales, Jacqueline Elaine Morris, Rashante L. Mundell, Tracy Miller Niels, Abigail E. Acasio, Heather R. Ochner, Ashley L. Ortiz, Liberty Ortiz, Tice L. Ortelaza, Brenda L. Paez, Sylvia M. Palma, Nicole C. Pearson, Darlene M. Perez, Emily Perez, Alex M. Felmetta, Carmelita Quinonez, Jocelyn Raton Shelburne, Marilyn Rhodes, Adrina O. Riggins, Elsa L. Rivera, Madeline Rivera, Myra J. Rivera, Rolando Rivera, Renee H. Robertson, Madeline Rodriguez, Rosa Rodriguez, Sukia D. Rodriguez, Jennifer Janet Rosado, Maritza Marie Rosa, Olga C. N. Ruiz, Lorenzo P. Saunders, 
Lakeisha Denise Selby. Kanika A. Shoemate. Dorothy A. Slitch. Gertie B. Smalls Ford. Janet Smith. Ashanti Alichai Soina. Stephen Anthony Spencer. Kelly Denise Taylor. Joseph Wasa Tay. Johanna Tay Haida. <coughs> Wendy D. Tetrault. William Joven Texador. Felicia Thomas. Michelle Baldwin Thomas. Rosa Toledo. Leslie Trejo. Jose De Jesus Valdez. Barbara K. Valesquez Briones. Catherine Iris Vicente. Robin Charisse Vilches. <laughs> Judy Webster. William Henry White. Andrew J. Wickline. Margro Wilder. Shante Wilford Starkey. Jamila Milia S. Williams. Shirley Ann Williams. Tiffany R. Williams. Penny Marie Wilson. Monique Maria Rice. Christian Isui. Sylvia Megan Buzzle. Donald C. Crimble, Jr. The Marshals of the School of Human Services will now come forward to receive their diplomas. Heather N. Gogger. Chardé Jacqueline Scott. William Bailey. David Hernandez. Congratulations. I hope you will join me in congratulating the graduates of the School of Human Services. And now, I would ask the marshals from the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies to escort the four, first two rows of graduates to the stage. Evan David Akinfora, Henry S. Adams, Ben Riley Aitchison, Anais Alessia, Joel Ronald Altavesta III, Matthew w William Sam Ammon, Monica E. Angers, Jessica Catherine Ashambaugh, Aaron S. Avent, Holly Patricia Badger, Victor Joseph Barbosa, Francesco A. Barbuti, Catherine M. Barsevich, Justin M. Batelli, Jessica Rose Batrial. Jocelyn Nicole Beals, Caitlin Ann Birmingham, Harry Alexander Bernstein, 
Alexander O'Neill Berthium. Laura Elizabeth Bishop. Ashley D. Blumenthal. Delisa Bonaparte. Marsha R. Borders. David Brown. Nathaniel Joseph Brown. Edward Brunton. Anastasia Alada Bushi. Alexander M. Birch. Thomas W. Burke. Amy L. Bury. Anna Nicole Kaleno. Jennifer Carly Califano. Laura Ann Callanan. Brianna Margaret Carboni. Jonathan Ryan Carrignan. Joseph Carlson IV. Gregory Joseph Chamberlain. Robin Hugh Clark. Allison Clot. John W. Cohen. Christopher Cole. Emily Ann Conlon. Connor Pierce Convery. Kristen Marie Conway. Elizabeth J. Cooley. Ariel Alice Cormier. Brian T. Capoli. Catherine B. Curtin. Brendan R. Sear. Rebecca L. D'Andrea. Kelsey Kelly Davey. Brian T. Davis. Crystal Shamir Davis. Carrie Jean Davis. Michael Dean. Andrew James DeCusati III. Christian Robert Del Pazzo. Caitlin Tara Delaney. Michael Delia. Gabrielle Verlina DeMarchi. Daniel J. DeMassimo. Catherine Marie Dodig. Allison Sarah Dombrowski. Mary Kathleen Donahue. Ashley Marie Donato. Samuel C. Dosteler. Caitlin Marie Dow. Amanda Kate Driscoll. Rianne Elizabeth Duggan. Brendan Durkin. Brittany M. Edwards. Lainey Joanne Emond. Kathleen Fagan. Wavell Alexander Farmer, Jr. Paige Walker Ferguson. Michael Perry Fish. Sarah Elizabeth Forward. Queasy Amin Foster. Tori Lee Franklin. David J. Fraboni III. Matthew John Frazier. Brianna Lynn Freemuth. Michael Frederick Freytag. Po Young Fung. Hello. John Nicholas Gabordi. Nicholas Anton Galgano. Joseph M. Giannino. Zachary Goldstein. Anne Marie Graziosa. Erin Greenstein. Vanessa A. Gwaley. Alex Dean Harrington. Brendan Richard Harrington. Brianna Marie Harrington. Jordana G. Harrison. Atia N. Hart. Ashley Yvonne Colleen Hawkins. Ashley Lynn Henry. Alyssa Tess Hodgetts. Lindsay Beth Hutchinson. Rebecca Lynn Irwin. Ryan Christopher Irwin. Sarah A. Jean-Louis. 
Christopher R. Jost. Aaron Leslie Julian. James P. Kelly. Aaron Desiree Knight. Anna C. Kraft. Emily Ann Crawl. Jonathan J. Cusaro. Adam Robert Lapointe. Courtney Lane Latorno. Ryan N. Levine. Mark Joseph Loisel. Patrick J. Long. Derek Anthony Longo. Alice Luskin. Kelly Katrina Linz. Christopher Evan Maddie. Michael Paul Mancini. Nolan J. Manley. Janelle Marie Mazzaferro. Ryan McAvoy. Patrick A. McGuigan. Michael P. McKnight. Alexis Mendez. Amanda Jordan Mercado. Brianna L. Medell. Matthew Milano. Kevin Miner. Lauren Ann Morenzi. Casey Elizabeth Morin. Travis Andrew Morse. Kevin Moss. Maria F. Moylan. Nicholas David Mutteroni. Ryan Matthew Murphy. Lauren Ashley Muser. Carissa Francesca Nassimbeni. John J. Novak. Jason M. Onsman. John A. Orsillo. Amanda Michelle Ortiz. Crystal Diane Pagan. Melanie L. Palmietto. Anthony Paul Pascuzzi. Amber Patterson. Terrence Scott Payne. Jillian Laura Peacock. Ashley Ann Pease. Amanda Pelkey. Ian Francis Peliquin. Jillian Nicole Petruziello. James F. Pizzino. Zachary Francis Pietras. Joshua James Poirier. Molly Elizabeth Potter. Cassandra Elena Preston. Natalia Przbilski. Joshua A. Rosette. Samantha Kelsey Reed. Lauren Regan. Roger John Reedy III. Paige M. Rhodes. Mark L. Richard Jr. Christopher Robolata. Alyssa M. Rodriguez. Genesis Rosario. Jordan S. Rote. Richard A. Rogerio Jr. George Anthony Russo II. Alyssa Ann Ruta. Ashley Ryan. Nicole Elizabeth Ryan. Anthony D. Salvucci V. Daniel P. Sawicki. Shauna Marie Scalise. Craig Stephen Schmidt. Samuel Melvin Schwartz. Matthew J. Scully. Michael P. Sedlak. Zachary C. Severance. Derek B. Shaver. Amanda Helen Shaw. Victoria Lynn Smalley. Kristen Marie Stahl. Lindsay Christine Steele. Mara Ann Stetkovich. David D. Stickle. Sarah Jane Sylvester. Morgan Alice Taylor. J. 
Gina M. Tedesco. Stephanie P. Two. So Pirat Eliza Tang. Bradley A. Visconti. Michael J. Velacci. Timothy Richard Valero. Leanne Monique Waller. Emily Walker. Stephanie E. Warnick. Jeffrey Benjamin White. Cherise Marie Wakamurka. Hannah M. Wood. Anne Marie Woodward. Jessica A. Zaremba. Emma Lynn Zwerko. The Marshals of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Professional Studies will now come forward to receive their diplomas. Cherise Adria Hatch. Deanna T. Lozniak. Karan C. Perkins. Martin J. Raychok III. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the School of Arts, Sciences, and Studies. George W. Adams, Kaylee Ann Allen, Alexandra Nicole Appel, Eric James Ashambeau, Dalton E. Ashwell, Laurel Avazian, Emerson J. Badessa, Philip John Beyer, Adam Christopher Bean, Michael J. Becker, okay. Linda Taylor Bajé, Andrew Paul Betor, Jonathan Bonanno, Zachary Richard Boyages, Jesse McRae Boyd, Colleen Marissa Bragg, William Edward Bruner, Benjamin W. Burnap, Catherine Burns, Nicholas Kamara, Corey A. Campbell, John Caparata, Christopher Rocco Capabianco, Sean Carter, Kerry Lynn Cecilia, Scott S. Christie, Mary L. Consol, Peter W. Contrady, Michael Anthony Cummings, Paul Dalton, Sarah Lynn Dalton, Allison Marguerite Davis, Michael R. Davis, Dominique J. DiNicola, David J. Danito, Matthew J. DeBona, Frank Di Chiaro, Benjamin Sico DeSanto, Samantha Emily DeTono, Denise Ann Domnarski, Michael David Donio, Christopher David Dunlap, Emily J. Durante, Duke Ekblom, Kyle C. Erland, Gregory Falcone, Kyle Andrew Fitzgerald, 
Timothy Joseph Fitzgerald, Megan Flanagan, Tyler Harrison Fletcher, Eliza Rose Foresti, Jeffrey Parker Jean, Hillary Ann Gerard, Elise C. Goldintz, Stephanie Ann Grande, Ethan Grossman, Lynn M. Haley, Kayla M. Harpin, Brett Hayes, Jesse A. Hinman, Elizabeth Turnin Hurley, M. Sean David Hutchinson, Dieter James Yager, Lauren Beth Jenkins, Laura Karen Johansmeyer, Brianne M. Joyce, Robert D. Kearney, Casey Elizabeth Callard, Christopher T. Kenny, Emma S. Clapera, Matthew C. LaCroix, Whitney Larson, Anthony Laurinaitis, Catherine M. LeBlanc, David James LeBlanc, Scott Charles Leach, Christopher Patrick Loy, John M. McKenzie, Caitlin R. Maggio, Matthew James Malloy, Gregory J. Marakovitz, Stephanie Ray Marriott, Alistair John Matthews, Catherine Grace McCluskey, Joseph C. McSpirit, Sean Patrick McKee Ono, Sonia Alexandra Mikowitz, Alexandra Ann Misch, Jake C. Miskin, Patrick Craig Muddy, Christopher George Nasuti, Gary A. Novolis, Robert M. Nolan, Jr., Sean M. Noonan, Ryan Patrick O'Connell, Kyle J. O'Flaherty, Christopher J. Ogilvy, Hillary Claire Olison, Alejandro Ortiz IV, Joseph Patrick Ortiz, Kenneth Paul Pancoast, Thomas W. Parshley Jr., Matthew A. Pascuzzo, Richard E. Peacock, Anthony Kyle Pelletieri, Michael Thomas Pelletier, Scott Peters, Anthony R. Pazella, Nathan Daniel Pinsiak, Robert James Polshuk, Ryan B. Polson, Brendan Ramsey, Grantham W. Raymond, Alexander J. Riley, Anthony Vincent Rioles, Patrick T. Rossi, Brittany Ann Rowe, Terrence K. Ryan, George P. Sabak, Jeff, Jeff. Jeff P. Sabak, Arthur James Santini, Rafi John Saragan, Michelle Scolo, Anthony Joseph Sendra, Vanessa Rose Senecal, Garrett Ambrose Sharnick, Kevin R. Shields, 
Eric A. Schein, Michael D. Sorani, Catherine N. Skews, Victoria M. Smith, Megan Kate Smithison, Brian J. Staub, Raymond Rogers Sturdy IV, Angela D. Sullivan, Taylor A. Sullivan, Anthony J. Supa, Brittany R. Upchurch, Matthew E. Vaghi, Jordan Gabriel Velataro, Kyle Stephan Vigno, Christopher Vincent, Evan Miller Walkwitz, Christopher P. Walton, William Edmund Werner IV, Aaron Ann Woodbury, Franklin H. Wright, Bethany Geraldine Young, Kellen Richard Zelneritis, Stephanie R. Ziebert, the Marshals of the School of Health, Physical Education and Recreation will come forward and receive their diplomas. Logan W. Akins, Michael Escalante, Ryan G. Ux, Cheyenne Lee Reynolds. There you go. Please join me in congratulating the 2012 graduates of the School of Health, Physical Education, and Recreation. And now, last but not least, I'd ask the marshals for the School of Health Sciences and Rehabilitation Studies to bring the first two rows of graduates to the stage. Nice Nobody knew. A few knew. Christina Maria Dupuy, Talene Jean Abrahamian, Vanessa N. Ajay, Khaled Sahel Al Qadar, Khaled A. Al Faharan, Ziad Mater Al Otaibi. Kirsten Margaret Arsenault, Samantha Rose Arts, Cameron, Cameron Harahisa Atkinson, Brittany Lee Baglow, Miranda Lee Barrett, Stephanie S. Bazzano. Caitlin Marie Ballou, Bo Brian Bench, Megan M. Biondalillo, Kelly Lynn Blake, Sarah Elizabeth Boyer, Anna Elise Bridson, Devante Richardson Brown, Amy Elizabeth Budazari, Erica Marie Cudavid, Ashley Ann Callender, Samantha Elizabeth Carney, Christina Marie Setti, David Adam Chesson, Jahida Marie Jack Chung, Jeffrey Paul Cirillo, Stephanie Lynn Collette, 
Bridget Maureen Crystal. Janella Ruth Kaler. Victoria Lynn Dabrowski. Nicole E. De Cristoforo. Colleen Michelle Dignam. Maya De, De Gregorio. Cameron Page Doherty. Evan Matthew Doctor. Robert Richard Dalney. Ryan Ann Donahue. Brandon Drinkwater. Stephanie Ann Edwards. Stephen Esposito. Brendan Thomas Evans. Helen Ann Evans. Rose Marie Formosa. Catherine Sadie Fitzgerald. Anna Teresa Frasini. Rachel E. Ficillo. Cara Elizabeth Fuller. Stephen John Gilfeather. Robert John Giordano. Sianna Bryn Green. Jessica Marie Gouger. Brittany Jade Hall. Sumin Han. Julie Ann Anna Harris. Ian Robert Hart. Nadia Hernandez. Caitlin M. Hobbs. Mary Elizabeth Hogan. Blaney Yvette Helt. Kayla L. Jimenez. Nathan Edward Casper. Michael J. Katzer. Jennifer L. Kent. Nicole B. LaCrosse. Stephen Henry Lansing. Anita Gabriela Laz. Heather LaFaver. La Ashley Jennifer Lynch. Erin Chase Mackey. Monica Zofia Malik. Trevor Donald Marcott. Allison P. Martin. Megan Ann McHugh. Christy Lee McLaren. Julia Catherine McLaughlin. Jordan Elizabeth McLevage. Jamie Francis McNea. Kimberly Ann Merrill. Victoria Murray. Ashley Elizabeth Nito. Danielle Ray Nolet. Megan Elizabeth O'Brien. Michael G. Ohm. Jordan P. Orafage. Nicole Panzerino. Amy Marie Parento. Christine Marie Parne Mary Parnell. Sarah Christine Patricio. Linda Julie Pereira. Leslie R. Perkins. Samantha Marie Peterson. Tara Elizabeth Fallon. Jasmine Rachel Pinckney. Layla Amy Rabai. Olivia Catherine Roy. Catherine Elizabeth Russett. Laura Ruth Russett. 
Ryan Joseph Scott. Melanie Ann Scuderi. Amanda Lee Serino. Cassandra Lynn Seymour. Daniel Joseph Sheehan. Marissa A. Sadzik. Brooke Ashley Simpson. Monica Stefanovich. Krista Ann Swanson. Savannah Lee Trowinski. Colby Joseph Verge. Nicole Vizina. Alexandra Elizabeth Waller. The marshals of the School of Health Sciences and Rehabilitation Studies now come forward. Anne Marie Carlson. Amanda Jean Crowley. Remy J. Davis. Kayla Parda Sokol. Please join me in congratulating the graduates of the School of Health Sciences and Rehabilitation Studies. And perhaps we can join together and congratulate all of the class of 2013. Thank you. Thank you, graduates. Thank you to the deans. Now it's my pleasure to introduce trustee Lauren Grimes Humans, class of 1984, who is the president of the Springfield College Alumni Council. And at this time, I would ask our new graduates to please stand. On behalf of the Springfield College Alumni Association, I want to welcome all of you, new graduates of this fine institution, to alumnus or alumni status. We in the Alumni Association hope that you will maintain your bond with the college and participate in the various events offered by the association. We also hope that you will continue in your support of the college and its mission. On behalf of the more than 44,000 living alumni of Springfield College, congratulations and welcome. In keeping with tradition, please move your tassel on your mortarboard from the right to the left side, signifying signifying your status as Springfield College alumni. Congratulations. Well done, well done. Our guests, graduates and honorees, thank you for joining us at this commencement ceremony. And thank you in particular for all of the Springfield College, members of the Springfield College family who have worked so hard to make this day special for our graduates. Our commencement exercises will conclude with the singing of the college hymn and a benediction offered by David McMahon, Director of Spiritual Life. Following the hymn and the benediction, the faculty and graduates will recess together back to their respective robing areas, and from there, the graduates will exit on the Main Street side of this building. We ask you to please remain in your seats until the graduates have exited from the area, and you may meet them outside the building near Main and East Court Streets. So, please, I ask you to please stand now and join Rob Kearney and Lindsay Hutchinson, class of 2013, for the singing of the Springfield College hymn. Shall 
worship makes holy Gracious source of all that is true and good and beautiful, we pray that these former students, now young alumni, go forth into the world stronger in body, keener in mind, and nobler in spirit. They bear the wisdom and traditions learned at Springfield College with them. We pray, too, for your blessing. Bless our feet that we may travel the path you set. Bless our hands that we may do your will. Bless our eyes that we may see the beauty in all creation. Bless our hearts that we may love our neighbors as ourselves. And bless our mouths that we may be the trumpets of justice in our communities. Instill in us all that spirit of service as we go forth into a world in need. Amen and amen.
Thank you.